All right, folks, welcome back. In 1989, Needham football played Matnock High School and didn't fare too well. Since then, the Rockets have only played conference opponents, but on September 16th, Needham got to host number four Mansfield in a non-conference game after Dedham dropped Needham from their schedule. It was a chance to show the rest of the state what Needham was made of for their home opener in 2011. And we pick up the action for you in the first quarter. Rockets trailing six to nothing, but Drew Burnett, he goes deep here with a 42 yard bomb to Mark Riley. The crazy one handed delicious grab. Rockets take a seven to six lead. Folks, check out this play again. Riley's first touchdown of the year. He'd had a second one here in the second quarter, a seven yard touchdown that would tie the game at 14 and then they would take the lead before halftime, a 27-yard touchdown pass to senior Danny Pierce. He shuffles into the end zone after the grab, and it's 20-14 to Rockets after the half. Third quarter action, Burnett throws his fourth touchdown of the day, a 76-yarder to junior Nico Panapinto. He's a fantasy points, fellas. His first varsity touchdown, 27-14 Needham, but Mansfield, they would score 14 unanswered points capped off by this Dill Infinity, 51-yard touchdown run on fourth and one, 28-27 Mansfield, but Andrew Moratchik's boot from the 39 yards out with the field goal late in the fourth gives Needham a 30-28 lead. But like they did all night, the Hornets, they come right back and take the lead. Greg Donahue from four yards out, that makes it 36-30. And here we go. Needham one last chance to win it. Burnett throws to Riley in the end zone. He cannot bring it in. Mansfield takes this one 36-30. They improve to 2-0 on the season. Needham drops to 1-1, one one, but still 1-0 in the conference. Well, the girls and boys soccer teams were taking on Natick on September 20th. The girls were looking to go 500 on the year, while the boys were trying to keep pace at the top of the carry division ahead of their matchup versus Weymouth on September 23rd. And of course, here is the action at Memorial Field. Both teams 2-3 and three, entering the game. <clears throat> Tori Waldstein sends in the corner kick. The ball sits in front of traffic. But eventually, sophomore Clara Nolan, she puts it home. The Rockets take a 1-0 lead. First half stoppage time, the red and blue taking a corner. The ball flies to Taylor Flutie, and she places it right in the net. 1-1 at halftime. And it stays that way until the final minutes of the stoppage time. Kayla Steve sends in the free kick, and Katie Belville flicks it into the back of the net. Two freshmen combining on the goal. Rockets win 2-1 in dramatic fashion. And here come the boys. We pick it up in the 36th minute. Max Steves, Kayla's older brother, shows his free kick styles here with the Thunderbolt bomb into the bottom corner from 23 yards out. The only goal in the first half. To the 48th minute, Harry Swartz, he's gonna find Nolan Brady here. And the junior midfielder picks his spot. His second goal of the year, need him ahead two to nothing. To the 61st minute, Nadek cuts the lead in half when senior Nick Maveri, he picks up a loose ball and ships home the beautiful shot. 2-1 Needham. Ten minutes later, Quinton Pogne, he shoots. David Heap, Hep rather, makes the save for Natick. Swartz gets it. He draws the penalty kick. Matty Peace, he gets the yellow card there. Up steps Steves to the plate, and he picks his stop. His spot, rather, knocking it home. 3-1 is your final. Steve scoring his fourth and fifth of the year. The boys improve to 4-1 on the season.